Did you know that the first exchange traded fund or ETF was launched in 1993? ETFs began as basic tools that provided exposure to broad indices. Since then, they have become one of the most popular investment vehicles for the investing public. Over the years, more sophisticated ETFs arrive on the scene. One of such are leveraged and inverse ETFs. What is the difference amongst conventional ETFs, leveraged ETFs, and inverse ETFs? Conventional ETFs seek to match the underlying index return. Leveraged ETFs, on the other hand, seek to amplify the return of an index on a daily basis. In contrast, inverse ETFs seek to deliver the opposite performance of the index on a daily basis. Let us look at three reasons to trade in leveraged and inverse ETFs. Let's assume you have a view on the KLCI index and decide to use the FBM KLCI ETF for your market exposure. Obtaining 1,000 shares will cost you around 1,780 ringgit. And the possibility of putting that full 1,780 ringgit at risk. On the other hand, an FBM KLCI 2 times leveraged ETF would give you the same FBM KLCI index exposure but up to 200% daily leverage that would allow you to put up just half the amount of money or less to get similar exposure. So there's less capital at risk. Say you like the technology sector but want to avoid the risk of a single stock collapse. You could choose the basket approach of owning a technology sector ETF to spread the risk. Then, if you want to amplify your return on the bullish side, go with the Technology 2 times Leveraged ETF. If the collective performance of technology stocks tied to the index rises 1% on any given day, the Leveraged ETF will go up 2%. What happens if the market takes a bearish turn? To capitalize on a falling market, you can buy an inverse ETF that tracks the opposite performance of the market thereby allowing you to take profit when the market falls. In other words, if the market declines by 1% on any given day, the inverse ETF will go up 1%. There is no doubt that leveraged and inverse ETFs give traders many viable alternatives for multiplying gains and benefiting when markets decline. If you are wondering, are these funds right for you? Stay tuned for our next video to find out. This video is for educational purposes only and not intended as investment advice.